Hey YouTubies, I want to make a disclaimer on these videos about my Cyberstalker that I'm getting ready to do. Uh, if you had children that you do not want to expose them to this kind of content, please click away or watch it in private or something. And if there's anything that you think is like triggering and then please click away. So, thank you. Bye-bye. Morning, YouTubies. How's it going? Okay. At dialysis again. Waiting for Anthony to come out of dialysis while I'm in the van. Enjoying the weather. And I'm having some oatmeal. I know I already had oatmeal, but just having it while I chat. A little something to eat while I chat. Um, today, I want to tell you about my creepy cyber stalker that's obsessively in love with me and I'm not even joking this is no exaggeration whatsoever this is probably gonna be broken down into like two to four videos because I'm each one I'm gonna try to have like 15 minutes long so they don't get too long and too drawn out and boring that way you know next day or a couple days later have the next part but, um, okay, I don't normally write down things I want to tell on video, but this guy, if you can see this or not, oh, well, my view is like, oh, I don't know if you can see or not, because the glare. But yeah, the notepad just keeps going. Yeah, I think it's still going. Yep, there's the end of it. There's the end of it. That's how much information I have to tell you guys about this creeper. That makes me just want to puke. Ugh. I can't seem to get rid of him. Okay, well, first off, let's see. Before anybody says anything about, oh, why don't you block him? You know, all this kind of stuff. Okay, first off, before anybody starts questioning me of, as to why I've not gotten rid of this dude, I want to be known that I have tried and tried. For reals, I've tried getting rid of him. Tried everything I could think of. I've blocked him on several social medias, but somehow or another he keeps finding me again and again. Or even on other social medias. I don't know how he's doing it. The only thing I can think he's making new accounts or something. That's the only thing I can logically think of what he's doing. Um, I've contacted the FBI about him a couple times and reported him, but it falls on deaf ears. They haven't done anything about him because he's not made himself a threat. He's just a has made itself a nuisance, a very big nuisance. I've talked to the police. I've actually talked to a police officer, but because I've not received any threats of violence that name a time, date, or location, there's basically nothing I can do. Which, to me, is a crock of BS. To be honest. So. Um... I report him on various apps that he's followed me on, but yet again, like everything else, they won't do nothing because he's not made himself a threat, just a nuisance. Um, my creepy stalker is from Ghana, Africa. He claims to be a prince. Um, he started stalking me a year and eight months ago. On Instagram that's how it all started um, he claims to be a prince but yet of, of Ghana but yet at the same time he claims to be a king he like flips those words around interchangeably um, I don't know if this is actually I don't know if it's actually him or if it's the culture that flips the words back and forth 
between prince and king. I don't know on that part. If anybody knows, let me know if you would, because I, I'll admit I don't know much about the African culture. I really don't. Now, me personally, I would think that an actual king wouldn't like others calling themselves king. I mean, that's only logical, I would think. Even though the others aren't in position of ki being king yet. You know, the sons and whatnot not being king yet, but call themselves kings as well. Um, to me, that would be kind of like a, a woman at a, in a white dress at a wedding or a wedding day. When all of a sudden her sister comes in wearing a, a white dress as well, a, a wedding dress. He'd be like, uh, hello. So it's like, you see what I'm saying? It To me, it's just like kind of a slap in the face to the actual king, I would think. But um, be like stepping on the other person's toes. I don't know. But in all actuality, I'm doubting this guy is a prince or a king. So I'm just saying. Just a fool. Which, it pisses him off when I've told him he's a fool. I wish he'd piss him off enough that he'd leave me alone. Okay. For some reason, he's seriously obsessed with me. And no, that is not me just having a big head. I do not think of myself as all that and then some. No. I no. I don't know why he likes me so much. Um I don't get it. Let's see. I for reals don't know why he ha has such an obsession with me. There's nothing here for him to be obsessed about. I mean, I'm not pretty. I'm fat. I don't have money. I have a crap ton of health issues, etc. So I, I don't get it. I really don't. It's like, dude. And he's half my age. He's like 35. And he knows my age. It's like, dude. Go find someone your own age. Someone. Uh, oh. Good behave. This guy just. Ugh. <laughs> I've told him many, 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 many times that I'm married. Same with on Instagram, Facebook, um, TikTok, whatever. If any guys send me a message and you know they're being all flirty and everything, I let them know within the first two sentences that um, before this friendship goes any further, I'm letting you know right now, I'm married. I'm happily married. So. Most of them will either bow out and go away, or if they stick around, they'll actually start being more respectful. Not this guy. He knows I'm married, and he still keeps trying to pursue me. I don't understand. Um, yeah, I've told him a million ways to Sunday that I'm married, and it just doesn't phase him a bit. Nothing I tell him phases him a bit. I told him goodbye a million times. I mean, well, okay, maybe a, it's probably getting up to at least a thousand times. I'm not even joking that I've told him goodbye, leave me alone, and stuff like that. And he just does not get it. He might get it for half a day or, or a day, and he'll leave me alone for a little while, but then he'll be back. And it's like, go away, just give up. Um, he thinks all Americans, but particularly American women that are over the age of 40, are millionaires. Yeah. I wish. It's like, dude, what planet are you from? 
So as a result, he thinks I'm a freaking millionaire. I wish that I was as delusional as he is. That's all I can say. It's like, dude, what are you smoking? Because you sure ain't sharing. Come on. Something. <sighs> There's been not times he's asked me for money on occasions since he thinks I'm a millionaire. And I think it's funny that a supposed prince is asking me for money. Mm-hmm. Asking a little old me for money and is like, honey, I ain't got it to give you. So and he thinks I'm just holding out of getting him money. It's like, you think whatever you want. I don't care what you think. So um all I end up doing is laugh at him because nothing I say in the contrary of what he thinks does any bit of good. He only hears and sees, you know, as far as text, what he wants to hear and see. Part of what he wants me to give him money for is because he's wanting to start a, um, a goat farm business, which I get it. You know, we all want the dream of having a business you know, be financially free and everything, all that kind of stuff. I, I get it. But I'm not a bank. And I've actually told him that much. Pissed him off. Because <laughs> I told him I'm not a bank. He took offense to that. Because he thinks I have all this money. And I'm just not helping him. Ugh. Part of what he's asking me money for is because he wants me to fund his cost for a work visa to come to the United States so he can work for me in my business. I have no idea where he got the idea that I've, I have a business or that I'm going to fund his visa or anything of these sorts. It's like, uh, dude, I don't have a business. Uh, I, he's the most delusional person I've ever met. Okay, I'm going to cut it off there and I'll continue the next half, the next part, when I come back to an, do another video. I'll probably do it here in a minute. That way, go ahead and get it done. But yeah, it's like, there's a lot more to tell. A lot more. <sighs> okay, I'll be back in a little bit. Uh, if you're new to our channel, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and hit that notification bell. If you have a cyber stalker story to tell, tell me in the comments down below. If you figure out how to get rid of your cyber stalker, please let me know. Because <sighs> I could really use some tips. Like I said, he's never ever made himself a a real threat. There's, he might have, well, there's some things he's might have like slightly hinted on that his family, you know, was bigwigs and all this kind of stuff. Like, like his family's going to do something to me, but no, he's just stupid. So, but yeah, let me know.